Hello and welcome to Scope. Today we're getting biological with the science of animals, plants and the natural world. Animals come in all shapes and sizes and some of them live in pretty amazing places. But not every species survives forever, so some scientists have to become detectives and look for the clues those animals left behind. Around 40,000 years ago, dozens of species of megafauna, like giant land mammals, birds, lizards and snakes, ruled Australia. They're now extinct, but their secrets didn't die with them, and I'll unlock the secret about one of the biggest animals that ever lived. Hi, my name's Gilbert and I'm a paleontologist. With my team here at UQ, we've just learned that the Diprotodon, the biggest marsupial that ever existed, was a seasonal migrant in search of its food. The Diprotodon was wombat-like and it was the world's largest marsupial. It was a herbivore or plant eater, but it tipped the scales at more than 3,000 kilos. The head of an adult Diprotodon could be up to one metre long. Just check out the size of this jawbone. I've been given access to a Diprotodon incisor. As the tooth grew, it would record aspects of the animal's life, such as its biology and ecology. That's because the chemicals of the food they ate became part of their teeth. So because Diprotodon was a herbivore, the geochemistry of the soils where those plants grew also became fixed into its tooth. We wanted to extract this information, so we drilled the tooth to take these powder samples. Then using these mass spectrometers, we tested the powder for particular isotopes. These isotopes can tell us about the geological areas and climate the animal lived in, which is very different to today. And using the isotopes, we were able to date the fossil to over 300,000 years old. We were also able to determine that the Diprotodon was a really picky eater, so that's probably one of the reasons it migrated to find the right kind of food. So, how can science use the information we've discovered about the Diprotodon? Well, when we know more about the loss of one migratory species from the past, it can help us understand more about the current species with mass migratory patterns like the wildebeest or zebra of Africa. Perhaps we can even save them from extinction. And it all started with just one tooth. <laughs>